All right, this video is to help uh, with writing equations of lines. So I want to be able to write equations of lines uh, in point slope and slope intercept forms. And I want to be able to write equations of parallel and perpendicular lines based on given information. All right, uh, the purpose of the video is to go through some examples with you so that you can see exactly what's going on. So I'm going to jump down here to these examples. It says, write the equation of the line in slope-intercept form. So remember, slope-intercept form is y equals mx plus b. And the two pieces of information I need to know are the slope and the y-intercept. Now, in both of these problems, they give us the slope and the y-intercept. All right? So I'm going to go ahead and re rewrite this as y equals the slope three fifths times x, and then plus the y-intercept, but the y-intercept is negative two, so I'll write minus two. If they give us the slope and the y-intercept, this is the easiest kind that we can experience. All right, second one here, y equals negative nine halves x plus negative five, but I want to write that as minus five. All right. The next two kind of problems here, they give it to us in another form that is called point-slope form. So point-slope form says y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. And what we are going to be substituting in is this x and y in that specific location and m. Now, when we get down to the next set of problems, that's when we're really going to take this and start running with it. Right now, what we have to do is we have to simplify things that are already given to us in point slope form. So what I'm going to do, I know whenever I do point slope form, it is a two-step process to get to slope intercept. From point slope to slope intercept is a two-step process. Step number one, distribute. So I have y minus 2 equals negative 7 halves x, and then I have to take negative 7 halves times 2, well, that gives me negative 7. I'm now going to add 2 to both sides, and I get y equals negative 7 halves x. Remember, I added 2, so this becomes minus 5. And there's the equation in slope-intercept form. Same idea in this next one. Distribute y plus 1 equals negative 1 third x. Then I have negative one-third times negative one. That's going to be positive one-third. And then I have to subtract one from both sides. So let's see here. I'll have y equals negative one-third x. And then I have one-third minus one, which would be negative two-thirds. All right. So remember this equation right here. I'm going to try to... Kind of grab the whole thing. Uh, it's not working for me. That's all right. I know that y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. It's the equation that I have to use now for this given information. So what they're giving me is a slope and a point. They want me to write an equation in slope-intercept form. So I say, okay, y minus y1. So this is the y1, y plus 2. Minus negative 2 is plus 2. Equals the slope 3 times x minus x1, which is that one. So it becomes x plus 2. Now it's in point-slope form. Two steps to slope-intercept. y plus 2 equals 3x plus 6. Subtract 2. y equals 3x plus 4. All right, take a look at this one. Remember, the 3 is the y that we're going to substitute. The 4 is the x we're going to substitute. y minus 3 equals the slope, 2 thirds, times x minus 4. This is point slope. Distribute. y minus 3 equals 2 thirds x. And then 2 thirds times negative 4, there's that distributing, that gives me negative 8 thirds. All right, I got to move this minus 3 over by opposite operations. So I'm adding 3, and I get y equals 2 thirds x, negative 8 thirds, 
plus 3 would be positive 1 third. All right? So the next scenario that can come up is what if they give me two points? Well, in order to do these equations of lines, I first have to know what the slope is. So the first thing I'm going to do is calculate slope. Change in y, negative 2 minus 3 over the change in x in the same order. That gives me negative 5 over 5, which can reduce to negative 1. Now, because we're going to use this slope, I want to go ahead and reduce this fraction as far as I can. I don't want to have to deal with fractions. Now, I'm going to write the equation in point-slope form, which means I need to pick a point. I can pick either point. I'm going to pick the second one. Some of you guys may be saying, why don't you use 0, 3? That's the y-intercept. I could do that. But I'm going to show you how it works no matter which point that I choose. All right? Remember, this is x and this is y. So I have y plus 2 minus negative 2 equals negative 1 times x minus 5. Two steps, y plus 2 equals negative 1x plus 5, distributed to negative 1. Subtract the 2, y equals negative 1x plus 3. Now I have the equation in slope-intercept form. All right? So take a look at this one now. I don't know the slope. i got to find the slope. Subtract the y's on top. Subtract the x's on the bottom. And that gives me 1 over negative 5. But remember, we always want that negative to be on top just to make our lives easier. I'm going to pick a point. This time, just for the heck of it, I'm going to choose the second point and plug it in there. doesn't matter. I should still arrive at the same slope-intercept form. So let's see here. We've got y minus negative 5, which would be y plus 5, equals negative 1 fifth times x minus 4. Distribute y plus 5 equals negative 1 fifth x plus 4 fifths. I got to subtract this 5. So that leaves me with y equals negative 1 fifth x. And then 4 fifths minus 5 would be negative 21 fifths. All right? The second thing that we want to talk about is parallel and perpendicular lines. Now, remember what we said. If the lines are parallel, the slopes are the same. If the lines are perpendicular, the slopes are opposite reciprocals. How we do this is exactly the same way we were doing all the problems before. All right? So, first thing that I'm going to look at here is I say they want a parallel through the point 51. From this equation, I'm going to recognize the slope is negative 4 fifths. Now I'm going to create a problem over to the right just so I see exactly what's going on. I need the parallel slope, which is negative 4 fifths, and a point that that new line passes through. That's that point that they say 5, 1. All right, I'm going to write it in point slope form. y minus 1 equals negative 4 fifths times x minus 5. Y minus 1, distribute negative 4 fifths X plus 4. Add the 1 to get Y by itself. Y equals negative 4 fifths X plus 5. And this is the equation of a line parallel to the given line that goes through the point 5, 1. All right, let's try another one of those. All right. I recognize parallel. The given slope is 1. The parallel slope must also be 1. Slopes of parallel lines have to be the same. This new line has to go through the point negative 2, negative 3. Point slope. y plus 3 minus negative is equal to 1 times x plus 2, again, minus negative. Distribute 
y plus 3 equals 1x plus 2. Move the 3 over. y equals 1x minus 1. All right. So now our focus changes over to perpendiculars. So if it's perpendicular, I need to know how to figure out the perpendicular slope. The given slope is negative one-seventh. Perpendicular slopes, the product of the slope and the perpendicular slope is negative one. That's the geometric principle. But an easy way to remember it is it's the opposite reciprocal. If the slope is negative, our new slope is positive. Take the fraction, 1 over 7, and find its reciprocal, or flip it over, so this new line has a slope of 7. They tell me it has to pass through the point, negative 5, negative 3. I now have enough information to write point-slope form. y minus negative 3, or y plus 3, is equal to the slope 7 times x minus negative 5, which would be x plus 5. Distribute y plus 3 is equal to 7x plus 35. Subtract the 3 to get y by itself and get it in the slope-intercept form. y equals 7x plus 32. And one more just for good measure here. Again, they want a perpendicular. The given slope here is 2 or 2 over 1. Think of it as a fraction. The perpendicular slope would have to be, well, let's see, positive has to become negative. Take the fraction, flip it over, 1 over 2. So our new slope for the line that's perpendicular is negative 1 half, and it has to pass through the point negative 2, 3. Point slope, y minus 3 equals negative 1 half, times x minus negative 2, which would be x plus 2. Distribute y minus 3 equals negative 1 half x minus 1. Add the 3 to get out y by itself. y is equal to negative 1 half x plus 2. All right, hopefully this helps with writing equations of lines. Good luck to you.